guys, Case Kiral here, back with another video. Well, this video is different from routine custom ROMs. Today, I'm going to show you how to install stock MIUI 10 Global Stable ROM on your Poco Phone F1 or Poco F1. So, this is a step by step guide of clean installing MIUI 10 on your Poco Phone F1 using a fast boot ROM method. Before jumping on to the main part of the video, if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe to this channel and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. If you have installed custom ROMs on your Poco Phone F1 or Poco F1 like Pixel ROM, Nitrogen OS or any other ROM and at some point you will realize missing MIUI 10 and you don't know how to revert your Poco Phone F1 back to stock ROM. Well, this is why I'm making this video. So this is a step-by-step -step guide which helps to install MIUI 10 Global Stable ROM on your Poco Phone F1 or Poco F1. Keep in mind the firmware for both variants of the Poco Phone F1 or Poco F1 will be the same. So the prerequisites of the video you need a PC or laptop running either Windows or Linux Ubuntu and I have prepared this guide for both Windows users and Linux users so watch the video till to the end without missing any part okay so let's start first on how to do it from Windows PC alrighty the first thing you should do is downloading your firmware files for your Pocophone F1 then open your favorite browser and search for a MIUI downloads on Google website. So, and then click on the first link, which will take you to the official MIUI website. Now in here, you will see a lot of Xiaomi devices, out of which I'll look for the Poco Phone F1 or Poco F1 and select on it. Now it will take you to the firmware page where you can download either a global stable ROM or developer ROM. For the sake of this video, I will be using a fast boot ROM. Now under the stable ROM, I click on a flashing guide. Then here, I click on fast Fastboot option. Then under step number two, I click on a Mi flashing tool, an executable package file for your Windows computer. Once you click on it, immediately it will start downloading the file. Then under the step number two, look for the Poco One F1 or Poco F1. You can simply search inside the web page for Poco. Now it will show you the results and try to download the latest stable version. You just click on it and it will immediately it's gonna start downloading the file. Now, once you are done downloading these two files, I recommend it moving on to the desktop page for easy navigation. Now, go ahead, install the Mi Flash executable package file. Once it's installed, it will create a shortcut on your desktop page. I'm going to go ahead and pin it to my taskbar. Next, you need to extract a bundle file, aka the main firmware file for your Poco Phone F1. The first thing you need to do is try to check if the file extension ends with either .tzz or .zz. If in case the file extension name is .zz, you need to have rename it as a .tzz. So once it's renamed, I recommend using a WinDraw tool to extract this massive file. Just right click on it and choose extract files and I'm going to extract on my desktop. Now once it's extracted successfully, you will see a folder with a long tail name. I recommend renaming it to anything without using any spaces. So in this case, I will just rename it as a Pi. Now inside this folder, you will see all the necessary image files along with some script files. Now switching back to the Poco Phone F1, as you can see, I'm running a Pixel ROM as my primary ROM and this is a time to try out a MIUI 10. Anyway, before flashing stock ROM, please make a backup of your important data like photos, videos, or applications to be on a safer side. Also, make sure your device is having a sufficient amount of a battery juice. Then go ahead, invoke the power menu, and uh, choose the reboot option here. As soon as you click on the reboot button, keep holding the volume down button until you see a fastboot logo. When you see this fastboot bunny, you can simply uh, leave the volume down key. Now back to the Windows PC. In here, open a Mi Flash tool and look for the extracted folder and just go ahead and copy the address of this location or folder location and paste it into the Mi Flash address bar area. Then click on the refresh button. So when you click on it and make sure the device is connected to a PC and it's gonna show you a string of text here, the reference ID of the device. 
And at the bottom, you will see a three options. The first one is called the Clean All, which is what I personally recommend. Basically, it will perform wiping entire system and internal storage. And next one is called the Save User Data. So if you want to save the internal storage, you can use this option. And the last option is called the Clean All Unlock. Basically, it wipes everything and locks the bootloader. It is going to be useful if you're selling your phone. For now, I'm going to stick with the first option and click on Flash button. Once you click on it, it will start flashing the stock ROM and it should take around 3-4 to four minutes approximately. Now once it's done, you will see a success message and at the same time, your device should start rebooting to MIUI 10. Keep in mind, the initial boot will take around 3-5 to five minutes, so sit back and relax and don't do anything. That's it, now you have successfully installed the MIUI 10 Global Stable ROM on your POCO Phone F1 or POCO F1. So this is how you can do it from Windows PC. But what if you don't have a Windows PC and you're a Linux user? So switching to Ubuntu. On your Ubuntu PC, open a terminal and the first thing you need to do is updating the repositories by typing sudo app-get update. Once you're done, then you need to install ADB and fastboot commands. To do so, type sudo app-get install adb now once it's done type sudo app-get install fastboot so once you're done typing these commands uh, your system could have the adb and fastboot commands installed and to verify whether these commands are properly installed or not just go ahead and type this command now download a firmware package file so once it's downloaded so it will be inside your downloads directory by default so this is how it looks like again check the file extension if it ends with .zz rename it to .tzz so once you have renamed go ahead and extract it to a desktop using archive manager Now once it's extracted, again rename the whole folder to anything without any spaces. So I'm going to rename it as a pi. Now open a terminal and type the command called cd which stands for changing directory. Then drag this folder into the terminal space and press the return key to move on to that particular directory. Now if I type ls command, you will see a bash scripting files in this current working directory. So I will be using this file which is called flash underscore all dot sh. So then type this command to make this script file executable. Now switching back to the camera view, so invoke the power menu and choose a reboot option while rebooting the device. Keep holding the volume down button until you see a fast boot logo. Now go ahead and connect your device to the PC. So then inside terminal, type this command called fastboot devices to ensure that device is still intact with the computer. So it's going to show you a little a reference ID or a string of text which represents that device is connected to the computer properly. So then type this command to execute the script file. Now it will start flashing MIUI 10, don't do anything and it will take roughly around 3-4 to four minutes. So once it's done, you will see this successful message on PC and at the same time your phone should boot into the MIUI 10. So that's it, this is how you can do it from Ubuntu PC. And that's it guys, if you like this video, smash the thumbs up button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking on bell button to get notified. So thanks for watching, this is KSK Rahul, peace out.